I wake up every morning, have a few cocktails. Cheers. If you do well and you answer these questions well, you can have another cocktail. Don't try to get me drunk. This is what I call my Singaporean breakfast of champions. Fried Hokkien Mee and three craft cocktails. That's how I like to start my day here in Singapore. Well, to me, this is sort of the romantic version of Singapore. You know, when I think about the era that the Singapore Sling was created at, at Raffles and what it was like in the old days, this is kind of like walking through the history that I imagine. I don't know if this really bears any reality to it, but for me, it's what I imagine Singapore to be like. And the sort of, in the romantic era, the less jet setty international finance center type of Singapore. The bar that we set for weirdness was very high in the show. So this is, um, this is charming and it's uh, unusual and it's very visually stimulating, but it doesn't qualify as, as weird, which I think is probably a good thing. I always go to the hawker stalls when I'm here. I love the sambal, which I rec uh, recognize from the Nessi Lamech. And um, uh, I just love the flavors and the the sort of rustic presentation, but big flavor. I'm a real old world guy. This is the kind of place that I seek out when I travel. I'm not interested in staying in fancy hotels and, you know, going to hotel bars. I want to get out and kind of feel it. And by the way, the cocktails here are amazing too. It's cold, it's iced, um, there's a chrysanthemum floating in the center of it. It's got a very deep, almost like an umami taste. And um, a very pleasing bitterness to it, which is unusual for a cocktail. It definitely is the first time that I'm drinking a cocktail out of a cup. I, um, when I shot my show Glutton for Punishment, I went to uh, mainland China. I, I learned how to be a kung fu tea pourer with a teapot with a very long spout. You do the and then you sort of hang it over your shoulder and you go boop, and then you fill a teacup just like this on the other side of the room. So I'm very familiar with the cup itself, but I've never had a cocktail served out of it. Truthfully, mostly I'm a, a wine guy. I drink a lot of wine. Now, I'm a pretty good drinker, and the worst thing that happens after I've had a lot to drink is I always insist on picking up the tab for everybody. Wow, that is so smooth. Oh, totally, you get that, you get them all. You, uh, you definitely get the bourbon, and, uh, and you can drink a lot of this very easily. Oh, it tastes like a really better version of a pina colada. You can really taste the coconut, you get the rum. It's super refreshing, but I can imagine this outside in the heat. It'd be perfect. They're also different, you know, they're, each one is perfect in its own world and has a different amount of either sweetness or bitterness. Like this, for example, quite, uh, quite bitter and quite, there's a lot of umami. This one, very rich and sweet. So they're both perfect cocktails, but you, I would never, I couldn't say one is more favorite because each one is perfect for what it is. And they're all mine. <laughs> you can't have them. <laughs>